Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am showing you how you can test if a player sprints in your game. Let's get straight into this. So, as you can see we have three things here. We have commands run 20 times a second when a player sprints. Commands run once when a player sprints. And then window breaks when a player sprints towards it. Which is that one there. So, I'm just going to do this in order. Uh, let's start. So, I'm going to start off with this one. We're just going to turn that on. Um, as you can see, when I walk, nothing happens. But if I sprint, you'll see these commands will run every time I sprint 20 times a second. Okay. And you can have as many as you want. Um, just as long as you have this one command block at the end. Um, if you just extend it out, then you can have as many commands as you want. Anyways, I'm going to show you how these work um, after. So, we have commands run once when a player sprints. So, as you can see, da da da. And if I sprint, it'll say stop running, stop running. And that's basically just um, doing this, except just with the Seppler command to um, power these. Things which are just stop running, stop running. Okay, so now the last one, this is like where you could apply it maybe. Um, as you can see if I run towards here just by walking, nothing happens. But if I sprint, it will break. And uh, yeah, works both ways too. So let's get straight into how this works. Okay, so this whole thing is based of one principle, which is the um, stat dot sprint one centimeter um, objective. So if you go scoreboard objectives, add, and I just called it sprint, and you go stat dot sprint one centimeter, and that's basically what it is. So um, the way we've used this um, in these commands is using the conditional command blocks so we only have to do one test for really and then all the conditional command blocks just power one after the other so our first command is execute as a with the score underscore sprint underscore min equaling one at the location and then I'll do a tell command will be command one and then in your conditional command block will be tell raw I mean it will be your second command which I'll just to the tell command that said command 2 and then <coughs> the minute the moment you sprint it will go to 1 it will power these command blocks 1 2 and then it will power this command block last which will just say to sprint 0 so from here your sprint is 1 your sprint is 1 and then here it will set it to 0 and that's basically all it is. So the next one, all we've done is change the tower commands to a set block command in both of them. And then sprint to the end. Now the window breaking is a lot easier than you might think. Basically all we're doing is executing at A with a score sprint of 1. Then we're going to execute at E name equals window. That's R, that's within a radius of 1 of that player. If that's true, then we are going to fill this location with air and destroy, which is the glass. So basically, if this entity is in with is within a radius of one of a player with sprint equaling one, the glass will break. And then here I'll just set to sprint to zero. So let me just show you this entity. Um, it's window. Here he is, window. It's an armor stand in the glass here. So basically, when you're within a radius of one, you are the um, up here on these stairs or you here on these stairs and since the players can't really actually like move into this frame um, it will always be either this location or the other side <coughs> so that is basically all I have to show you if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one